Hey everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda. So I'm getting comments about an updated twist styling video. They still here, they're still kicking. I'm not sure what update you guys want because it's literally like, it's very simple and to the point. I'm gonna show you guys how I moisturize my hair. I don't think I showed that in my twist video. I just showed you guys how I initially twist it after I wash it. And I'll show you guys a couple of styles, I guess. Nothing new that you guys haven't seen, but I did not show these styles in the initial video because this is on two week old hair. And this is why I love my twist so much is because even when it gets old, it looks so good. As long as you are moisturizing, keeping them fresh, your twist can look really, really good. And also because the past two weeks, I have not been working out. I haven't been sweating so much. So that also helps my hair lasts a little bit longer visually than it normally would so let's go right into how i moisturize my hair i just moisturized my hair yesterday so i'm not doing it today on camera i'm just going to be showing you guys the products i use first i like to spray my hair with some type of refresher currently i'm using this camille rose honeydew liquid moisture refresher and I used to use the Lavender Collection Refresher, which I absolutely love as well. The Honeydew one, it's a little bit thicker. Like, it's a little bit heavier than the Lavender one, but I've got like three bottles of this. So this is what I'm going through as of right now. After I'm done with this set, I think I'm just going to make my own refresher because it's nothing but glycerin and like essential oils and what else? water yeah it's, it's nothing really that i don't have around the house or i can easily get so instead of purchasing it on amazon at, as a batch i'm just gonna make my own refreshers so i'm going through this right now i love refreshers for my hair because I don't like using, like, I don't like putting conditioner in here. I know a lot of people use conditioners and water for their refresher. Um, I feel like that's just product buildup. Even though this is product and it has a lot of stuff in it, the conditioner is a little thicker and I don't know. It just, yeah, it's just not for me. I'd rather the glycerin, the oils, all of that, like, I'd rather that stuff. Maybe I'll try leave-in conditioner, but not just like conditioner where I'm supposed to wash out. I feel like that type of conditioner definitely um, leave more gunk in my hair than if I try to leave-in conditioner. So um, spray this first all throughout my hair. Mainly I like spraying this on my scalp because when I do work out, my scalp is very, very dry from the salt in my sweat drying on my scalp. So I really like to refresh my scalp with this, but I refresh the entire length of the hairs and I go through to the ends as well. As soon as I spray it, my hair just coils up and that's how I can see my hair is actually moisturized. It actually is retaining a lot of moisture because it just curls up and it's not giving me a lot of scraggly ends. Um, after that, I use like three different oils right now because this is what I have. One prime oil that I always, always use is a black castor oil. If you guys been watching for the last couple months, you guys know I'm just trying to use up what I have in my stash currently. And currently I have this African Pride Black Castor Miracle Oil, Sealing Oil. I like it because it's thick. My hair loves castor oil. I do have black Jamaican oil that I have once this is done. So I'm just going to keep the bottle and reuse it. I like to put it on my... Do I put it on my scalp? I really don't put this on my scalp just because it's, it's just so thick and there's Right now, there's no reason for me to put it on my scalp, but I really love having it on my hair strands because it's going to definitely seal in all of that um, moisture that I initially put with the refresher. And then this is just for kicks and giggles. I, because I have it, I have this African Pride Moisture Miracle 5 Essential Oils. This thing smells so good. 
I love it. I have like, I think I have probably like two more left. I normally buy these things in bulk because it's something that I use reoccurrently. This is a more thinner oil. It does still have castor oil. It has grapeseed, argan, coconut, and olive oil. So I put that mainly on my scalp and then I put that on my hair as well. And then sometimes I top it off with just regular raw coconut oil. It just depends. If it's around me, I use it. If it's not, then I don't. But I honestly use coconut oil a lot of time when I am initially twisting my hair. So that's that for moisturizing. When I am working out consistently throughout the week, I moisturize my hair two times a week max. It'll be on one of the days like on the weekend. Basically, the day that I am recording, I moisturize my hair. And then midweek around Wednesday, I refresh my hair as well again because my hair needs it. Even though the way I do it, my actual hair strands can stay a good week week and a half to two weeks actually without me refreshing it but because i am sweating a lot and my hair is getting very dry i do still just do everything it doesn't matter i just do everything i don't like okay let me just spray because i actually take my hair down and go through and moisturize everything so yeah that's it for moisturizing um yeah so when it comes to styling my hair y'all honestly i don't care to mess with my hair throughout the week i'm not touching it once it's in a style it's in the style like that until i moisturize it either midweek and if i don't work out the during the week then i moisturize my hair once a week so the day that i'm going to record that's the, normally the time I moisturize my hair. So the styles I'm going to be showing you guys, you've seen it already on previous videos. I just never like did a tutorial on it, I guess. This, I moisturized my hair yesterday and I put them in um, two cornrows. Yeah, I don't think they're called Duchess braids, are they? Duchess, I think, goes all the way around, right? Or up in a ponytail or up in two pigtails because... When I go to sleep at night, I don't want to have any pressure like right there in the middle of my head or at the nape of my head because it's just very, very uncomfortable and I'm not going to take down my hair every night just to adjust it for me to go to sleep. So I might as well keep it in a style that I know I'm not going to mess with it again until I take it down for me to refresh it and moisturize it. So I normally love when my hair is this pattern. Most of the time it is like this after I've done washed it because I put it in braids. So let me go ahead and do one style for you guys real quick. So in the front of my hair, I normally do either one, like, uh, what is this? <laughs> one twist out? I don't know that. One twist strand or I do three twist strands and let's go ahead and do, I could do it in a ponytail. You guys, these are very simple, very easy type styles. I love me my twist. Let me see. I'm not going to use my scrunchie because it's not necessary because I'm going to take these down as soon as I am done recording. I love me a messy bun. So I just get regular elastic rubber bands. Rubber bands have not been breaking my hair, maybe because my hair is twisted up. I normally do one, to be honest, one, and I don't even fully take everything out. And then, depending on how it lays, oh, it lay pretty well. Because normally, sometimes these things stay up and I don't like them up, so sometimes I pin it back. Where my stuff at? So I get a bobby pin, and I just pin it down.
Make sure you're gentle with your scalp because if you're continuously using bobby pins, you don't want it to be breaking off your hair. Yeah, and basically, <laughs> there go one style. I did a style like this in my other video, but you know, it was just straight and it was just literally freshly twisted, which I like when my hair is freshly twisted. But yeah, this is basically it, y'all. If I want it tighter, then I will use a thicker scrunchie in order for me to make it tighter. But for the purpose of this video, it's gonna be loose. So basically, <laughs> that is what I do. And like I said, sometimes I literally just use one. When I am going to sleep, if I just want my hair out of my face, I literally don't even take this off or take it down. I literally take these two and twist it like this and we Gucci. I love my little messy buns. What else do I do? You could do half up, half down. Honestly, I like my styles better when they're old, when my twists are older because they're stretched and I love working with stretched hair. So another style that I do is, let me see, just three. I leave my three up front. I get the ones in the middle. Ooh, there's a bobby pin in here somewhere. I just make sure, I don't even check to see if it's, I just make sure they look okay. I don't count to see if it's perfectly even. This is what I love about natural hair. Like it does, it, it could look unruly and still cute. I love that. Look. Ooh, ooh, this is giving me, what, 70 vibes? Is this the 70s? <laughs> yeah, I look like a child. <laughs> but this is cute for, for anybody, right? This is a cute little style. Mm-hmm. But me, of course, normally I would, like, twist this just so it can help me gather everything up. And then... Turn it around like this, get a bobby pin or, or a rubber band. Sorry, my hair is so it's moisturized and slippery and, and oily. And then you have this style that I do often as well. Half up, half down. Another style that I do, what else? I'm trying to you try I'm trying to save the specific one for last. Um what else do I do? You could play with pins, not pins, like the clips, which I don't have with me right now. I'm trying to do stuff that doesn't require like much accessories, just in case. Because honestly, I don't use accessories at all. Let me see. You could do this. Twist it back. Bobby pin. Normally like this, I would um, use rubber band. There we go, better. This is a style, of course. Good. Take it down. Well, take one of them down to make bangs. So this is one as well. Oh, actually, I haven't tried this one. I just did it off, off whip, off whip, on whip. Wait, on a whim. <laughs> just did it on a whim. I haven't. But this is cute. What else can you do? You could do messy. Low buns as well. I'm pretty sure I did that on camera before. Keep these two out or three. My hand is so greasy. I'm gonna try to hurry up so I could go eat. I just made dinner.
I haven't done this actually, so hopefully this is cute. A little hang time. So that's that. And then the last style I wanted to show you guys, which is the style I'ma just go ahead and keep my hair in. You could do it two ways. So basically I'm just braiding. When I braid it, I try to make it be as close to my edges as possible. I just prefer that look instead of the going straight back look. Grab everything to the bottom. If you don't know how to braid, you could always do two strands, like flat twists. Honestly, I don't care how the back is. I don't care if one is pulling from one side to the other. If you guys are picky like that, make sure you have your mirror in order for you to um, part it. But the, this is why I love natural hair. Like all that perfectionist is not necessary. Okay, to the bottom, I don't braid it all the way. I twist the rest of the way. Well, the little bit apart because Ain't nobody got time to sit here to try to unbraid the ends. And then I did the same thing to this side. Did I mess it up? And this style, your hair will not... Well, if you're working out heavily, then water will definitely trap or sweat will definitely trap in your hair. So, you know, you got to make sure... If it's the winter time, to make sure you dry your hair. But if it's the summertime, your hair will automatically dry. And y'all, your hair stay moisturized. This is so weird. I normally am watching Netflix or listening to something while I'm doing my hair. It's just so quiet right now. If my hair was thick enough and long enough, I would definitely just leave it like this. You know, look cute, but... We still got some ways to go, you know? So what I do now is I just bring one side to the side. My hair is getting long, like, <laughs> so I just do this. Get the other side. And that's it. And if I want to bring out my bangs, I can easily bring them out. Bring them. If my pin is not in it. If I want to bring out my bangs, I could easily just take one and bring it out. And make sure you don't pin where the braid is, which I think I did. There you go. Yeah, I did pin where the braid is. And then put it back. Boom. And there you go. So that is what I got for y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram at imported underscore chocolate, at Wolanda everywhere else. And I'll see you guys in the next video.